creating compelling graphics for your Instagram feed is a must. There's a bunch of ways of doing this, but if you don't know where to start or how to begin, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way of creating consistent graphics in Canva. Before we begin designing, let us first select a theme style, either dark or moody, bright and vintage, or there's a whole lot of options in the description box below. Then select a grid layout for your feed, either squares, diagonal, or the most common, the tiles. There's another option again in the description box below. Next is choosing your color palette. Choose 3 to 5 colors and stick to them. This is going to be your color palette. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Canva Pro and in a free version of Canva. For your Canva Pro user, go to the brand kit, add new palette, rename the title of your color palette, then add the colors. Now, if you're using the free version of Canva, create a new design, set the custom dimensions, Set it to any size, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's create a 1000 by 1000 pixels. Drag a shape, rearrange the shape, and create 5 copies of the shape. Next, select the colors for each shape by clicking the shape and clicking the color wheel. Copy the codes below the shape by adding the text. So leave the tab open because we're going to use this later as our color reference. So let's create a new design on, on the search bar. Um, type presentation, then select the 1920 by 1080 pixels. Then let's select a bright and girly theme. So let's assume that we have, we want that theme style. And then this a lot of layout appear or templates if you hover your mouse or pointer on each thumbnail you can see how many slides are available for each template so let's select this one then apply all 25 pages let's click that then what we're gonna do is if we're in canva pro Let's click Resize, then select Instagram Post. And when you click the Copy and Resize button, it will automatically convert it to an Instagram size. Okay, but if you're using a free version of Canva, here's what we're going to do. Let's create another Instagram graphics. Let's make it blank. Copy all the elements from our presentation template by dragging or control or command A in your keyboard then copy then let's paste it here and rearrange the shapes and the text according to your preference you don't necessarily have to copy everything like the layout from that slide or that presentation template it's really up to you okay so once you're done copying all the slides from the presentation layout or the presentation template click page manager at the bottom right of your screen then you will be given this um, uh, view a grid view of your design so let's say you prefer a tiles grid layout so let's say that's your that's the grid layout that you want so we know that a tile is an alternate of let's say quotes or just a plain information or infographics followed by a photo or an image so in this case um, let's create a layout for our image frame
You could replace that image or photo later. So let's just duplicate that and rearrange it alternately. Delete others. Delete the other tiles that are not needed. So once you're satisfied with your layout, double click the first design. Then we are going to copy the color codes of the color palette that we've chosen earlier. So let's rename this file, my Instagram feed. Hit enter, it automatically saves. Then copy the color codes from your color palette and paste it to your new design per element. So let's change the text color, copy, paste. Paste the code. Again, just repeat the same process. You could actually skip this part if you want. I'm just repeating the process. We arrange the positioning, then replace the text, replace it with your own. Okay. It actually depends to you as long as all the color, all the colors in your graphics or in your tiles are just within your color palette, the color palette that you've created earlier. But you are so free to replace your color palette. It really depends to you. It really depends on your brand identity. So you could experiment with it a bit then I'm just showing you here how I change the colors of the next tile. Okay. Then let's find an image. You can you could upload your own or you could search for free stock photos in Canva. Just be sure that it's free. It has an indi indicator at the bottom right corner if it's free or not. So just select free if you're a free user. Or you could upload your own. So I'm just um, doing the same steps here. Once you're done changing colors, rearranging the shapes or the other design elements, um, again, click the page manager. If you're satisfied with the, your design, then minimize the window. Make it look like this. So you're like looking at your own Instagram feed. And if you're not satisfied with the colors, you could just change it. So everything will be color coordinated. 
and everything would look a little consistent. Okay, so once you are you are really satisfied with everything, you can now download it by clicking the download button at the upper right corner of your screen. And then select a file type. I recommend PNG then you could download one page two page three page or you could download all of it at once if you want then click download then extract the compression or the zip file As you can see it is named the file name is in order that's it that's a good starting point my last advice don't get overwhelmed by other people's amazing feed experiment as much as you can look at my feed it's not perfect in fact it's so messy the important thing is we start something make mistakes learn from it and try again that's where we'll find growth if you find this video helpful please like comment or subscribe if not it's okay thanks for watching this video